Well, hello. Just casually spinning in the ramen aisle. I found the topoki. Recently on YouTube, I have been absolutely obsessed with the mukbang videos, which is a Korean trend of basically people sitting and eating large amounts of food. I'm genuinely addicted, and I don't know why. And what is developed from this addiction to mukbang is an addiction to Korean instant noodles, any instant noodles. And now my obsession with learning more about Korean food. That is why today we are gonna go to H Mart in New Malden, London's Koreatown. And I'm gonna take you along with me while I buy, discover, try and figure out what some of the ingredients are and basically eat them. That's the plan. I'm hungry, I'm ready. We gon' go. So for me, this is an absolute personal exploration of Korean, Asian, Chinese, Japanese food. I really don't know a lot about it, more because I think I was just brought up on kind of just like crappy Chinese takeaway. That's all I was used to. I didn't know anymore. And now I've discovered Korean food. Their chicken wings, oh my God. Topoki, topoki. The spicy rice cakes and spicy fish, fish cakes. So delicious. And of course, the world of instant noodles. My eyes have been slightly woken up and now today I'm hoping to just discover an array of delicious things I've never seen before. And I'm just gonna buy a whole load of stuff. I'm not gonna be able to read it. I have no idea what it says, but that's the whole point, discovery. And you're gonna come with me. That is a hundred pounds for raw ginseng. A hundred pounds a kilo. If you ever want any rice, they've got you sorted. One of the things I really wanted to get today was some crazy delicious Korean drinks. I always see online like crazy cans. Cookies and cream, strawberry milk, all these weird flavored milks. There is some stuff in here I've never seen before in my entire life and you will never see anywhere else. Oh my God, giant aloe. Look at the size of this aloe. Aloe. They have so many of them. Oh my God, Jesus. Thai tea drink. I'm gonna try this melon one. Moju, moju. What's this one? Let's just get an original. Look at all those noodles. Even if you don't come here for just Korean or Asian food, this stuff is bloody cheap. Look at this, this baby chicken. It's £2.50. Damn, this is cheap. I found the paste aisle. I've been told that I have to get gochujang. Gochujang hot pepper paste. So this is what if you get Topoki, which is the spicy rice cakes. This is the stuff they cook it in. I don't think I'm gonna get this one. This one looks like it'll probably burn my mouth very hot. That's not for me. Um, I'll just go for a little little guy. This mini hoisin is too cute. Straight in my basket, there he is. Hello seaweed, I found you. You all look the same and you're all in different packets with different languages on it and I can't read you so let's try and find a little snack version. Oh snack, seaweed snack, crispy seaweed snacks. I found the random Asian crisp aisle. This one's called, oops, limited edition, lol. It would be helpful to read Korean in this moment. This guy looks super happy. Should we get one of these? So this one I've seen in a ramen and I've tried before and it was really spicy. And you get it in a crisp, that little chicken thing. I recognize him. This just says hot chicken flavor Zalda, and they look, they look real spicy. I don't think I can, I can't do it. I can't do it. I think I'm gonna get one of these lol ones though. And my main reason for being here today, I found the ramen aisle. Just casually spinning in the ramen aisle. Now to choose some ramen. I'm definitely gonna try and walk out with about six different ones I've never tried. Here's that funky little chicken thing I showed you before. Here he is. This is the hot chicken ramen flavor. Apparently they do a two chicken, wait, is that hotter? No, oh, this is the two times. So this is the two times hotter. I've had the normal hot chicken, which is this one. And even I couldn't eat it. I'm also gonna get the classic Shin Ramen noodle soup. I see this everywhere. This is a bit of the spicy chicken one. That's going in. Hot chicken flavor ice type. Oh, so these are cold noodles. Noodles you can also get cold. Literally, I've seen them with ice in them before, which looked a bit weird. It's the volcano one. I can't do that. So these are Indonesian noodles, Indomie 
mi goreng. You can get a jumbo pack. Normally they come really little. Look at this. Look at the size difference to jumbo. Straight in my basket. I love that they don't even lie. It even says artificial. It's the artificial flavor. Oh, kimchi. Kimchi ramen. This is a little adorable little, little garlic and cabbage. Best friends there. He's going in. I found the topoki. So these are the rice cakes and that's the fish cake. These look good, they're redone. I'm gonna have, look at all this stuff. I love how everything's such bright colored. Really makes me know that it's all real super healthy. Oh my God, fried chicken wings, or sweet and sour chicken wings, sweet and chili chicken, chicken katsu. And I found the really traditional. So this is Korean japchae, which is like rice noodles. And this is kimbap, which is basically kind of like a sushi roll, but this is bulgogi. So it's got like bulgogi beef and stuff in it. Just found something I never realized I needed or wanted. Oh, surprise. Next thing on my list to get is some dumplings. And I think I found this section. I just need to get the right ones. This is a lap. I don't know what to get. This is quite daunting. This is a great description. Mini gluttonous rice. This guy, hot chicken dumpling. He keeps popping back up, this little chicken. I'm back in the ramen aisle. Before I leave, I feel like I haven't discovered really random ramen I wanna get. melting my brain. I think I've got all I need. I've got a full basket. I'll show you everything when I get home. I'll do a little Korean H Market um, haul um, and I'm gonna cook some other stuff up and eat it. Oh God, I'm so excited, I'm so hungry. I'm now back home. I'm ready to dig into my food haul of delicious Korean goodies. There's so much food. You know, I've got my lol crisps. These just made me giggle. So these are Korean mini churros, these ones. I love a churro. Classic pak choy. Gotta get the pokey. I've just got the classic chocolate. This is another little like sweet side. I have no idea what it says. This is from, do you know what? I'm not even sure. And here we go on to some ramen. So this was a random one. Um, I felt like I had it picked up a random thing I'd never seen before. Look at this little octopus. I seem to be attracted to like cute little characters and there's so many on all these things. So pan fried, pan stir fried noodle, um, irresistibly sweet and spicy taste. Kimchi, I love kimchi. Of course the jumbo mi goreng. These guys are so delicious and so cheap as well. Of course the world's apparently the best or at least most expensive. Laksa lamian lamayan. This is gonna be good. Hot chicken flavor, which I had before, which kind of blew my socks off, but with cheese. I've seen these and I didn't realize you'd get them in England, so they are exciting for me. Oh yeah, the classic Shin Ramyan, which is the spice, gourmet spicy chicken noodles. So this one was recommended to me by a friend. So this is the classic black bean noodle. This one's Korean, 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 Singapore, Indonesian, Korean. Had to get some kimchi. I love eating kimchi on the side of noodles. Basically, kimchi is pickled cabbage. This, this is topoki, but this is from H Mart, so this you can get in like the pre-made section. Got me some fried chicken wings, some soy sauce. They're also, I'm gonna cook them up as well. Oh, I also got, so I was talking about the paste, and this is like the classic red bean paste. So this stuff is delicious. It's not too spicy, but a little bit spicy, so you can add it to stuff if you want to, or normally that is what, the tapuki is cooked in. So that water, the sauce, and there's also fish cakes in here too, if you can see them there. So that's the rice cakes, that's the fish cakes. Mogu Mogu, melon flavor drink. I've never had a melon flavor drink before. Of course, had to get an aloe because I love aloe. Got the light, trying to get a little bit less sugar because it's always super sweet. This one I had to get because I love Bulbasaur. Ocean Bomb, which is a natural, deep sea sparkling water in apple flavor and it just looks really cute. I feel like I'm in like Pokemon or something. I love it. I also got this guy which is a carbonated soft drink and this is just original and I have no idea what original. Is that just, is it just water? Is it basically fizzy water? Have I bought myself some fancy Korean fizzy water? We'll find out. And then last drink, the strawberry bonbon. And I think it's literally just a, like a Korean carbonated strawberry drink. We'll try it. Last couple of things. Not sriracha, but hoisin sauce. Who knew? And it's in like a little mini bottle. So got to get that because I love a hoisin. There was loads of these things in there, like weird little yogurts. And they make these yogurt jellies. So they're actually, they're like squishy jellies. If you think like jelly top without the sugar, yogurt flavor, 
I guess we'll try them. We'll give them a go. So this is a bit of a joke. I have a proper Korean feast. I cannot wait. So here we have, I've got the packet. This is the hot chicken flavor ramen. And this is Korean with cheese. It smells cheesy. It kind of smells like mozzarella-y in a way. This one here is the, the jajangmyeon, which is the black bean with noodles. Apparently I've been told that the custom is normally these guys are eaten like traditionally when you first move into a new house my friend told me that i mean i i'm not moving into my house but these guys are moving into me over here i've got my ginger soy chicken wings they smell great i cannot wait and then i've also got my kimchi let's open up this kimchi so i can have little bits of it i've got oh oh my god that smells so good it's like garlicky chili see what it looks like there we go it looks a bit weird but it's basically pickled cabbage and it's like chili and it's pickled for like a long time salt mm. my giant chops is it i'm just gonna eat it out of this oh i was just gonna eat it mm. right firstly I'm gonna try these noodles. This one has got me stumped. Like I've never seen the cheese noodle. I've seen people online with, from Korea who've had the cheese noodle and then people in America who say they can't get hold of it. So I'm so glad that H Mart have it. And in England, you can get it. Let me move this right closer. Try this one. It's so weird. It kind of just smells like cheesy spaghetti, but I know this is gonna be super spicy. Looks hot. Mmm. It is spicy. Mmm. Okay. I'm opening the melon drink. This guy's so cute. It's kind of like the aloe vera ones if you've ever had the aloe drink. So it's got like pulp in it. My god, that is so good. The lumps are more like little like chewy sweets inside the drink. Oh, so this is actually. This is Thai. This drink is Thai. Mogu Mogu. Melon drink. That's incredible. I'm going to go into my topoki. I love rice cakes. I'm so good. And these are the ones from H Mart. So these are like fresh. It's kind of like the, if you're into Sainsbury's and it's like the takeaway sandwich section, you'll find this. The chicken wings. There's loads of stuff. Next up, John John Man. If I'm saying this all wrong, I'm so sorry. Please correct me. I want to say it right. This is all a journey of discovery for me. But if you are new to mukbanging, which every single one of my friends, every time I said, have you seen a mukbang video? They thought I was probably talking about something, someone else. It's basically a Korean trend, ASMR, and eating. They eat probably, I mean, this is quite a lot. I'm not planning on eating it all. I'm not an animal maybe i will this video has basically been inspired and my love of korean food has been inspired by veronica wang she is this beautiful half canadian half chinese um woman who sits and does mukbang i think she's only done it for like a year and a half she teaches you how to make the dishes and all about the different brands and stuff and i think it's just so interesting to see different cuisines there is a massive world of food out there i want to learn about it i don't have anyone really to teach me so i'm just self-exploring and here we go John John Man, come to me. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, that's so good. Wow, they are good. They're like slimy in all the right ways. The chewiest noodles. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen I've had a little slight obsession with Korean food. Hence why this video is happening. And one of the things I've been loving is their instant ramen i just love lifting it up and down apparently but this stuff oh my god it's so chewy in all the right ways mm. it's gonna be all over my face <laughs> onto the chicken wings so these guys there's a lot of chicken wings here 
my friend the other day I went out for Korean with my friend and she managed to eat a chicken wing a boned chicken wing with her chopsticks that's you can see I'm still learning oh god chicken wing down anyway as I was saying that level of chicken wing chopstick eating that's where I want to get that is the plan maybe I shouldn't do that again that's the plan oh my god these are like sticky oh Oh crap, they're like soy ginger sticky chicken wings and the difference between our like KFC fried chicken and Korean fried chicken is that potato starch. Oh baby that is good, that was great. Let's try this Kimura Ramun carbonated drink, this is Korean, it's got a little funky lid on it, you see that it's got like the little, it's got like pinched if you can see this all pinched things here so you put that on and then <sighs> right we're getting there my bad i'm so stupid and then i've got the little opener oh magic <laughs> that nearly went so wrong oh that's so cute though and then that thing's in there and then Do you drink it? It kind of tastes like, you know those little like Palmer Violets, but they're like the refresher ones that you get? It tastes like that in fizzy water, like really faintly. Oh. That is great though. Back to our rice cake. Hello baby, come to me. Mm. The fish cakes in this are especially good. I'm dreading it, but I need to go back to this hot chicken. Hot chicken with cheese. Oh. Ah, oh, it's gonna make my nose run, isn't it? Basically, if you're ill, uh, got a blocked nose, these are for you. Oh. Oh. God, I'm such a lightweight. Oh, let's have some of like this. This one is really good. Oh. Flicking it everywhere. Mmm. Mmm. That one is great. I'm going in for another chicken wing. It's a weird concept watching someone eat, but if I was watching this myself only a month ago, everything on this table I would never have seen before. I'm trying to push my heat level when it comes to food. It's not, it's not working. It's not really working. I can't take it. They actually remind me of, um, it was a Korean street food restaurant. There's like a couple of them. I think it's three in London called On The Bab. I went there the other day with my friend. So we had topoki, topoki, topoki. Uh, we had chicken wings, we had dumplings, we had two bao buns, a bulgogi beef one, and thing, and then we had this massive bowl of fried chicken, and hands down the best fried chicken I've ever had. Oh, it was so good. Let's go for another drink. This one makes me feel like I'm in Pokemon. Bulbasaur, my favourite, look at him. This one is a natural deep sea sparkling water in apple flavour. It literally is Korean appetizer. This is from Taiwan. This is from Taiwan. Okay, so this is from Taiwan, and it actually is a licensed Pokemon product. God, this video could go on for like two, two and a half hours. I'm thinking it's time to try my lols. Lol. So these guys are from, oops, limited edition. Lol. And I can't tell what the flavour it is. It's crispy crackers, roasted sweet corn. And they're from Indonesia. There we go. So these are Indonesian roasted sweet corn crackers. I really can't open these. There we go. Here, we're in. It smells like air. Oh, do you know what they kind of look like? And also, through that packet. Classic Chris Scott's there. Air. 
so they look like cracker crisps. So moving on to our sweet stuff. First, I'm gonna go for my mini churros. I'm really interested to see if they taste the same. And also, I've never had churros in like a crisp form. Oh my god. They genuinely just, oh my god. Look at these. They genuinely just smell like cinnamon sugar. Oh my god. These are incredible. They kind of taste like I'm eating cinnamon crunch cereal, but as a miniature of crisp. Oh my god. On to our next pudding. Dessert sweet snack thing. Is this dude? Look at him. If anyone knows what that says, please tell me. I'd love to know. Let me get into this packet. <laughs> what is wrong with me? Do you know what they are like? <laughs> they are like little profiteroles. I thought they were going to be crunchy, but they are genuinely like mini profiteroles. Oh my god. They are a win. And then this last one, which is the weirdest, which I just walked past and saw it, are these basically Korean Yakult jellies, yogurt jellies. They just feel like little gummies. Oh my God. Oh my God. They're like, <laughs> they're like cola bottles. Kind of smell like cola. Oh, they're so much chewier. I'm getting the yogurt. They're like cola bottles. And you'll get, they're like in between the two. They're good. I mean, I don't think I've been disappointed with anything. These guys, I don't really taste of anything. They can go aside. This one, I'm gonna go to H Mart just for these. Kimchi, I love. Mini profiteroles, yes. Topoki, you gotta get it. The spicy rice cakes, the fish cakes, you gotta try them. All drinks, good. Be prepared for the sugar. There's a lot of sugar in that. These noodles are spicy. These ones, delicious fried chicken do i need to explain about fried chicken before it gets too cold i'm gonna leave you be i've eaten enough in front of my camera today i hope you guys learned a bit more as i said before a month ago i had no idea about any of this food for me it's a self-exploration of korean food asian food stuff you just cannot find it in your normal supermarket if you're in the uk get down to new Malden and go to h mart if you have an h mart near you go just walk around, pick up things, eat it, enjoy it. I've got so much more, so many more <laughs> instant noodles to eat. This is something completely new for me. Let me know if you enjoyed it. I definitely enjoyed it. I'm still gonna enjoy it. I've got another hour or so of just slowly munching through. You can really tell I'm loving these noodles, can't you? So um, I'll see you guys on the next vlog. Make sure you follow me on my old Instagram. Subscribe below if you wanna see some more videos. I'll see you guys again next time.